Hey guys, it's D from Little Studio. And before I get talking, I think it's important that we acknowledge that something really big has happened today. Um, actually it happened a couple of weeks ago, but this channel's reached 10 subscribers. And I know for some people that would just be a thing that you brush it off, oh it's just 10 subscribers, some people gain that in a day, but for me this has been a really big deal, really big accomplishment. and. This has been my goal for the entire year, and I'm just, I never expected it. I mean, I was happy when I hit five. <laughs> um, so hitting ten has just been something big for me, and I, I know this is my first vlog, and talking about this kind of makes it seem humble braggy, but I'm, I'm really happy about it. Like, it's taken me two years, <laughs> and of course the first couple, the first like year of YouTube was just me using YouTube in order to be able to subscribe to people. But the year where I've been releasing things, it's it, it's been a big deal for me. I've worked as hard as I can. I've put out as much as I can when I can. And by the way, I'm sorry about last Saturday not posting something. I realized that Monday that I didn't post something and I was like, ah, stupid. <laughs> but I know that not a lot of people watch my videos. But for those of you that are actually watching my videos and are actually subscribed, not just because you're my friend, but because you want to watch my videos, thank you so much like it means an incredible amount to me so with that out of the way let's talk about today today has been a big deal for me today was the last day of my year as a junior in high school and again people are out there are gonna be like well those of you that watch this are gonna be like well why is that important? It's just the last day of your junior year. I mean, you've got summer to look forward to. That's awesome. But for me, it hasn't been like that. It's been more of a thing where I'm losing a lot of people. A lot of people are going off to college, or a lot of people are are just leaving high school because they don't want to be in high school anymore and are dropping out. and there's people that maybe I didn't like but are leaving and I'm realizing, wow, that person's leaving. Like, that's been a big part of my life for a long time, these people that are now leaving. And not just the ones that I maybe don't like, but the ones that are my friends. I have a lot of friends that are seniors that are just going to not be there next year. And, like, I, I know this is probably just, like, a normal thing for some people. They're just like, well, yeah, duh. You're being dumb. I mean, yeah, of course they're gone. Like, but for me, I guess I just didn't realize it because in my head, everybody's the same age as me. Except for those who are obviously not. And for me, losing those friends that maybe I was in a higher level course with, or maybe they were in a lower level course with me, just... It's been hard. And I'm not... If you know me well... You know that I'm not an overly emotional person. You know that I don't cry a lot. Maybe I get angry every now and then, but I'm not not overly emotional. But today I was looking at my yearbook, and I, I did the cliche thing that everybody does. I had everybody sign it, and I was looking at all the messages. And I was looking at all the names, and... It just, something about it really just made me start to well up with tears. Like, here, hold on, I'm going to get my book. I'm going to show it to you guys. Okay, I'm back. Um, and I brought my yearbook. The cover, a lot of people had like a big problem with the cover, saying that it was like boring or stuff and like the spine. It, I don't know. I like the idea of keep going. I thought it was I thought it was a neat idea, keep going. Cause 
because of what I was talking about before. A lot of us are leaving, a lot of us are moving on with different aspects of our life, and I just, I don't know, man. I thought, I think it's kind of cute, personally, but, um, the cover's not exactly what I want to talk about right now. Um, what I want to talk about is the signatures. Like, everybody's got friends that, well, or at least you did when you were in high school. Everybody's got friends that they want to sign the back of their yearbook, and they just want to have their names with them all the time. And this year's been a year where I've, I've really, really been trying to get everyone that I know that I like to sign my yearbook. And there's even been a couple people that maybe I didn't like that I got to sign my yearbook, or maybe... I every now and then really didn't like them, but it was really important for me to have their name down, or to have a little message from them. Um, and for those of you out there who write messages, like little cute messages in people's yearbooks, you are the best people. <laughs> like, I al it always makes me grin so much when I see, like, people writing, like, little messages in my yearbook. Like, look at that. I have the best friends. Like, I got my, my Japanese teacher to sign my yearbook, and she just wrote Sensei in the biggest, the biggest font that she could. Just the, can you guys see that? It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> and of course I've got, I've got some friends that like, I told them I don't really care if they, they swear, because I don't. I I swear all the time. I mean, I'm not. I don't really want to in my videos. I just don't. Um, I'd rather keep that off of the channel. But yeah, some of my friends signed my stuff and like put like I effing love you in like huge letters. Like, look at that. Look at this dork. Oh. Mm. And then that friend who wrote a whole monologue. And then, yeah, just so many friends that wrote such nice things in my, in my yearbook, like. And then there's some, like, memes. <laughs> Cause I've got some of the memes friends. Like, my entire Japanese class has been, like, arguing playfully about which is the best Pokemon starter in Sun and Moon. And so I've got... Rowlet is the best Sun and Moon starter. And I've got hashtag down with the owl. <laughs> and that just, that makes me laugh so hard. And I've got this one friend who a little while ago we like agreed that we're gonna be each other's workout buddies. And so we text each other every day, like, oh, 15 minute lifting, or 10 minute fit, or, you know, stuff like that. And so she wrote, hashtag forever fitness buddies, right there. And she drew, like, a little chibi, and it's so cute. She's the, she's the best. She's so adorable. Her name's Shauna. Shout out to Shauna. We wound up friends because our last names are literally one letter apart, so we get sat next to each other in every single class. <laughs> Fun fact. And I'm not a sentimental person. Like, if you know me, I'm not that sentimental. And you probably know that. And I've got one of my friends from my Japanese class wrote Gambare. Gambare yo, technically. And, like, it just... If you don't know, that means, like, work your hardest and, like, good luck. Something like that. Like, a really thing where it's like, yeah, break a leg, that sort of thing. And that was just, that was really nice. And I've got... <laughs> One of my friends wrote, you don't suck. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love yearbooks. A lot of people think they're cheesy or they're stupid or whatever, and you can believe that if you want to, but I just, it, it's so much fun looking back at them. And while I'm not a sentimental person, I was thinking about getting like a shoebox or like just a box that I can start keeping 
stuff in from the year. That way I can look back at it and be like, whoa, this was like the best day of my life. And have like trinkets from it. Or like my year books, like keeping those. Because right now my dad keeps them and it's kind of dorky of me. But there's this one janitor at my school. And if any of you are my in real life friends, you know exactly who I'm talking about. His name is Victor. He's the nicest dude I've ever met and we all call him Santa because he looks like Santa when he grows his beard out. It's, it's he's he's lovely. He's the best person I've ever met. And I got him to sign my yearbook because he was going around the cafeteria collecting people's trash and I just happened to have my yearbook with me so that my friends that sit at my lunch table could sign. And I got him to stop and he signed my yearbook and he wrote the nicest thing. He wrote May all your dreams come true, and may God bless you and keep you in the palm of his hand, Victor. Isn't, that's just the sweetest. Like, he's so nice. And, like, I, I heard rumors that he was retiring, and I, like, wanted to cry. But then I asked him, and he was like, what? No, I'm never gonna retire. I'm never gonna die. I'm just me. And, like, I have some of the best friends. And I know I'm rambling, well, I just hit my mic. I know I'm rambling, and I'm sorry, but I'm also kind of not sorry. Because that's what I wanted to make this video for. Like, I was in my car on the way home, and I was like, I want to record today, but I don't know what. And it's been a long time coming, this video. Not this one in particular, but like a vlog. Because I've, I've wanted to make a vlog for a long time, to just start doing it. And I've just always found some reason to be like, no, I'll put it off till next week, or I'll do it tomorrow, and then tomorrow never comes, or next week I'm super busy, or something like that, and just, I, something about today, being the last day of my junior year, with friends and enemies alike leaving, and having a book full of memories like it's hard to explain but something about that day being today really just pushed me to make this video and for some of you I know that you probably won't like this video or you you just don't like vlogs and that's okay I mean we all have our own personal preference I mean I personally don't watch vlogs a lot I just I don't know, I guess I just like to ramble. <laughs> and, I don't know, I just, I felt like I needed to make this video. Just to get the stuff out of my brain. <laughs> because if I didn't talk about it at some point, I wasn't going to. It just wasn't going to be something that happened. And I'm really glad for those of you who's, who have sticked around long enough, sticked, stuck around long enough, I just want to thank you for watching this video. I know that I don't make vlogs a lot. Um, put comments below if I should keep vlogging or stop or hit that like button if you want to. I'm not going to tell you you have to. It's stupid. I hate it when people do that. But tell me about your high school experience. Tell me about this year. Tell me about how you feel about it being the end of the school year or Maybe for some of you, you're taking summer glasses. Tell me what you're thinking about for that. But for me, it's time for me to sign off. And this year, it's been long. And I'm not going to pretend like I didn't have any bumps, bruises, or gashes. I mean, I fell down the stairs on Monday. And that hurts. I mean, I'm still sore. And... I don't know. For some of you, it's been worse. For some of you, it's been better. And for all of you, thank you for watching if you've made it this far. I'll see you in my next video, or maybe I won't, depending on whether or not I make a vlog. Um, but I just want to say thank you. You guys are lovely, and if anybody tells you differently, they're either selling something or they're stupid. So, 
Thank you guys so much for watching.